Step back to start Fungay. Who knows where Fungay is? Uh, I knew. I was looking at Boris. If you told me you didn't know where Fungay is, I would be surprised. God bless you, man of God. Please, a word to the congregation, perhaps from any perspective. Just speak as God is telling you. God bless you. Good afternoon, church. I am very honored to be here this uh, afternoon. I want to say that, uh, like Pastor said, we have been talking on phone for a period of time now, but we've not been able to meet physically. Again, I only saw him on the picture outside, and again on WhatsApp since we communicated there. But I'm glad that I've been opportunity to come see him facially and also see uh, his place of worship. I want to say that I, uh, there is one thing I love about your pastor, I have not told him. I love his knowledge on scriptures. Whenever we talk, I, I see someone who, who knows the scripture up there. In fact, we don't talk an name without him quoting a scripture. And that I really admire. We are people of the book, and so we should use the book because it's a manual that guides us on everything that we do. I also want to apologize that I couldn't come earlier than the time I came. My distance is quite far. I had a number of things to do, and uh, right now I just rushed out to answer a call. I was invited also for another program at Gospel and Gongam. I am called that they are almost at the time of doing, doing fundraising, and that's another key part I'm supposed to be there. But since I missed out on the first dedication of the first book, yeah, and uh, again, he personally invited me and uh, wrote to me in my inbox, I thought that I should not uh, neglect the opportunity to come. So I said, at least let me come even just for some few minutes and uh, see the church and uh, be privileged to listen to you and fellowship with you people seated here. And I must say that it's a wonderful thing just sitting and listening to the talks on tight. It's very, very interesting. I must say that tithing, as you say, is one of the most dependent areas in the kingdom. And uh, like you said, maybe you don't love talking about money. I love talking about it. Thank you, sir. I love it so much. There is just no way. I, I, I tell my Christian the same thing. If you don't like hearing about money, don't come here. It will be difficult. In fact, one of my pastors says that a, 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 a Christian who doesn't give is of no use to the church. It's of no use to the church. That's the truth. It, it sounds is, so hard, key. but that is the truth. Yes. Yes, giving is kingdom business and kingdom citizens must take us seriously. Like so I, I mean, just yeah. trust that through that, your giving life will equally change. Amen. I'm going to go home with my own copy and uh, I'm sure that it's going to help me. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you so much, sir. Imagine someone left all the way from Fingay. Yeah? Yes. It's pretty far and it's into the suburbs. These are genuine servants of God. Not being in the town and uh, walking around, knocking people's doors, being where the least stuff is happening. I'm kidding. Praise God. 